There's the music that means it's Friday. We're down to earth with Catherine McMillan. Have you missed me? Two weeks away. Have you, have you been pining away, Catherine? I, I, I mean, you know. You I, had to my, sing my then. My life without you. <laughs> my life without you, honestly. You, I, was, you, I was there holding on to a hose pipe hour after hour. I found it with another person like Rob who could do some of this watering. Uh, okay, Friday gardening. Um, it's it's. It's been a great season for gar- gar- shrubs and gardens so far because the gardens are looking probably at their best at the moment, aren't they? As long as you got the rain. We haven't had any rain in Newborn. Um, I know nobody else is, mm. <laughs> is going to go, oh, well, poor you, your sunshine. Mm. But there's a little bit getting a bit sad on that. But no, I think on the whole, it is, you know, it's so much flower and so much colour at this mm. time of year. It is wonderful. You've got to enjoy it. Oh, evening primrose have got to come out. And, I mean, it's the first year that they've actually really worked and they've got huge and it's just so beautiful and evenings are best in the garden because you can you've done your day's work and you can just have a little walk around and enjoy the garden and like like everybody else does yeah so you know there's all sorts of plants that you can do that can really make it magical for you you know like you said you've got your evening primroses you can have your honeysuckles and the tobacco plants that release all the fragrance at night so yeah wonderful time to enjoy it Today, what are we talking about? You, 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 did you mention we're talking about butterflies? Yes, I think we need to talk about how to help our friends the butterflies because the big butterfly count is taking place. That's running until Sunday, the 8th of August. So if you haven't done it already, then I think it's a great thing you can do. Very easy. You just need to sit out in your garden for 15 minutes and recall what you see. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't know what butterflies, what's what, the butterfly conference conservation website it's got an app that will download and that'll help you identify the different species that come into your garden and even if you don't have any or you know many that is still valuable useful data for them you know because we all want to know how the butterflies are doing which species are coming into which parts of the country so i said you know you just need to sit out in the garden and it's great to do with the kids as well and i think if as an adult the best way to do it is you sit down as you say for 15 or 20 minutes in a chair and i think a glass of wine always helps you identify butterflies much <laughs> much easier helps you get your eye in <laughs> i think it's i think it's probably one of the garden rules that if you're sitting in a chair you do need a glass of wine with you otherwise you can't work properly no no seriously though we want to attract more butterflies and, and all, all sorts of wildlife but butterflies in particular because they, they do so much good they do and you know i want to skim over the whole thing of you know the terrible state of nature really you know because that's all very sad so it's all about what we can do to help how we can get those numbers back up again how can we get those numbers back up again <laughs> <laughs> he said <laughs> <laughs> well, helping the butterflies, some of it is just what you would do in general to help your garden wildlife friendly. So you've got your brownie point because first thing you've got to have in a wildlife friendly garden is some water. Everything yep. needs water. So you've got your pond now. Mm. Butterfly obviously doesn't need that much. So even even just put some sources of water out, that helps them because, you know, they're going to come in and have a drink. Another thing that everything wants is a few areas that are a bit undisturbed, overgrown, don't have the whole garden manicured. And I can definitely say from very recent experience that the undisturbed areas definitely have all sorts in because I was cutting back and I got swarmed with ants uh, and I'm so itchy Rob <laughs> and, and you should be pleased it's taken me this long to mention it because it's the only thing in my head right now it's all these ant bites all over me because I disturbed them well yes because you're disturbing their their habitat and they've got to defend themselves haven't they I mean you're you you want them to be strong so you can't yeah you brought them up that yeah. way I think they were they were going to mass together and remove the scissors from my hand. I think was the plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, again, uh, it's it's very nice to put some of these areas. But I'm I'm not keen on letting your lawn go to to long grass. I think you can develop another wildlife park without without sacrificing your lawn. I, I think that's a waste. Yeah, because you know you don't need huge areas to do this thing. Because actually, a lot of it they're happy with the nice plants that we like as well. The cultivated people think you just leave. Your, your garden to wasteland but actually that's not that great for nature on the whole but it is nice to have a few bits mm. now one of the things you also need to remember and i love how many gardeners forget this if you want to help the butterflies you do have to put up with the caterpillars of course. you get people to come in and they'll go oh i've had to smash all these caterpillars and then they're there later and you go oh there's no butterflies mm. and you go no no there wouldn't be mm. so you know most of them aren't that much of a problem and they're only around for a short time they will 
ruin the look of some of your plants some of these caterpillars but they're very rarely going to actually kill the plants they will bounce back from it mm. so you have to you know take the rough with the smooth if you want to help nature it's it's been um has been a big drop in the number of butterflies but some butterflies are are changing their areas because the, with the climate change and we're getting some uh from the say mediterranean butter butterflies coming up here now as well so it's going to be fun watching to see what new varieties or new to the uk new varieties we can see it's going to be great fun so how do we yeah, get so how do we get this app is it what what's what's the organization you said Butterfly conservation. But if you just put big butterfly count into a search engine, that will put you straight to it. But there's also some local websites that are really good. There's ones that focus on the local area because apparently there's around about 30 or so species that are common in Suffolk. So some of them are native and some, like you said, they're now frequent visitors because different species favour different plants. So we want to make sure we are growing the kind of plants that the butterflies who are coming to us are going to want. Oh, I've got it up in front of me on my screen now. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? That is, I thought it was going to be something a bit difficult, but even I could do this. How to take it's part? It's dead easy. It's really easy. So that's that's this weekend, is it? That is. And so if you're coming up with a low count, not many in, then have a look at the planting in your garden. See what you're missing. See what you should be having. Mm. So you know, if you want to help the caterpillars and the egg stage of it. Some of it is, like we said, the kind of weedy stuff like the long grass, stinging nettles, thistles, garlic mustard, which you might not know. If you look that up again, you'll be like, oh, it's that plant. It's not exciting to look at, but it's not a troublesome weed. So if you've got some of that, leave that for them. But you can also have some nicer things like the holly and the ivy, honeysuckle, everlasting sweet peas, willows, heathers. There's all sorts of things and that's for the eggs and for the caterpillars and then of course you get to the glamorous end which is the ones that bring the actual butterflies in for you oh it goes on right through to the 8th of august so we've got a week to do this and uh, there is an app as well which i might try i'll be i've been dabbling with some apps but i get a bit confused in there but it is <laughs> it, yeah i do I I, I I i download the wrong app and you can get some embarrassing things coming through but i won't talk about that but it, it's really good it is it is important that we do it Okay. It is. Have you ever had that thing? I know people when all the pubs and restaurants brought in apps and people were trying to order a, a pint <gasps> from the wrong app and it was in a different restaurant. <laughs> we went to Orford when I was when I was off and it was there was there was such a kerfuffle to do it um, that we had to have two or three waitresses come to a table to show us <laughs> how to do it and I thought well why don't you just take my order and or, wh or why don't you come with a computer and I tell you and you put it in the app. I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't do it i couldn't do it uh, anyway that's just, just it's uh, like the self-service checkout at the, at the supermarket isn't it and they always have to come and help you with something i can anyway, I, I, I might as well just i can do that one all right i can, can manage you? that one yeah i can manage <laughs> okay that's lovely um that's it for this week or we got any more are we well, done i think we want to i think we should have a quick run through of the plants that the butterflies all oh like yes as well. yeah yes because because that's the more exciting fun bit isn't it so first one everyone's going to know this the butterfly bush the buddleia and we all know that is dead easy to grow so that's a really nice one to have in the garden because it's scented it comes in lots of different colors you can get dwarf varieties as well and there's lots of cottage garden favorites you can have like the scabious the garden pinks catnip they like as well phlox lavenders and if you want instead something a bit different prairie planting look that's been quite in for the last few years mm. that's when you have swathes of things so it's again having the grasses having the echinacea cone flowers the monada bee balms asters verbena benariensis thistles things like that and that's good for not just the butterflies lots of pollinators as well and herbs herbs are brilliant for helping the wildlife in your garden verbena's very good this year um, i've seen it in a lot of gardens and it, it, it is it is stunning isn't it it's really beautiful plant and i said the butterflies love it mm. and lots of bees and other things as well and the other thing to think about as well is that sometimes butterflies they like a bit of treat they like a bit of sugary goodness so if you've been growing any fruit in the garden leave some of that down before it goes moldy when it's just gone nice and soft and a bit mushy they do like to come and have a little dip in that and that helps them along as well although of course 
that is going to give you the ants and wasps. But and the chicken. I'm taking, and, and the chicken. The, chicken, the chickens will have it well. first. <laughs> <laughs> to fight them off. But you could do that, you know, again, if you've got kids and stuff, they never finish eating the fruit. Do they always leave the peach stone and stuff, you know, with lots of rat fleshy stuff around it. Leave that out for a little while. See if any butterflies come and help themselves. Maybe you pop it on the bird table because that'll make it make sense. Get it off the ground. So, um, yeah, you don't want any rotten fruit on the ground. On the bird table will do no. it. So maybe, yeah, we'll have a look. That's brilliant. Okay. Um uh, Oh, and I will say, yes, I, had a, I had a look on the app yep. and shamefully, nobody a newborn has done it. And quite frankly, I don't have 15 minutes. So if anyone would like to come and sit in our garden, I'll give you a chair. Mm. Come and do a count in the Katie's Garden garden. That would be interesting. Yeah. And say you're doing research. Yeah. You exactly. might, you might, would you get a cup of tea if you came and sat in the, in the Katie's Garden garden? Oh, I, I don't know if we can run that far. <laughs> There's some lovely cafes down the road that will do you a takeaway. There is a war on, you know. Um, yes. Catherine, we'll speak to you next week. All right. Take care.